Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm back out at the claim with Eric and we got a few subscribers here. Say hello, Kathy and Beth. Beth. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. So we're gonna explore the claim, see if we can find anything new today. Did wanna go check that place where he found the rutilated quartz last time and kind of explore further in that area, see what else we can find. It's exciting, it's a wonderful day today. Great temperature, it's gonna be in the mid to high 60s. Fantastic day. Okay, let's get out there and see what we can find. So I've been here for a few minutes just collecting stuff all along the edge here, right next to the vehicles. <laughs> we have here these cool agates that form at the center of the barite clusters. So some of you might be familiar with the barite clusters that come from yellow cat. These, these ones have yellow in some of them. Also little just pieces of it. Uh, we got some nice bigger ones here I'm excited to cut into. Like that one very nice you can you can see the red and the yellow in a lot of these oh yeah look at that one it's beautiful so just a whole bunch of really cool pieces they're small but boy are they pretty here's this hat piece all nicely washed off that is so cool it's like a bullseye target or something <laughs> here's this one all washed up you can see these cracks going through it it's ready to fall apart so I'll have to see what I can do to keep it together here's this one cut open uh, it's got a little bit in there it's got a nice section there with the red and yellow yeah it would have been like this originally there we go <laughs> here's this one cut open oh very nice red not much yellow, but the red is really nice. Here's this one cut open. Ooh, nice, not too bad. Just need to show you this. I cut this one open and sometimes everything you do to try and keep them from shattering won't stop it, but look at it. That would have been so beautiful. Oh man. We'll have to see what we can salvage from these pieces because they are pretty i think it's because there was a calcite center to it which then just fractured the heck out of everything it's cool though here's this one cut open this side you can see broke that one stayed intact though so we got one good side and it was worth it look at that very nice Here's this one cut open. Ooh, that's a nice, look at that one. That stark yellow red contrast. Very nice. Here's this tiny little one cut open. And there's stuff even in the tiny ones. Look at that. Here's this one all nicely cleaned up. Look at that. So pretty. That red and yellow. Here's this one cut open. Oh yes, look at that yellow. Nice. This one was so thin, I just kind of grazed that side, let the other side shatter. And, got a little bit of red in there. Here you can see where there's little bits of red laying all over. And I think I see one just barely poking out right here. We'll see. Hold on. Oops, flat one. Yeah, that's not got really much on it. Here's this one cut open. Oh, a lot of yellow on that one. Look at that. Nice. And look at this one just sitting right here. So you can see, there's that red in there. And then you can see the outlook. Oh, look at the other side. There you go, red and yellow right there. See, that's what you're looking for uh, on this hill. These are really cool. There's some of the barite right there. You can see that shape. The ground's really hard right now. That one's really small though. It might not have anything in it. But we'll give it a shot. And then you got little broken pieces of red here and there. Here's this one cut open. Yeah, there's some yellow in there. That's a pretty nice one. 
Very good. Here's this one cut up. A little bit. It's got a little bit of yellow and red in there. Here's this one cut open. <laughs> All yellow. There's no red in this. That's weird. That's the first one I've seen that's just been straight yellow. Here's this one cut open. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. Red and yellow. Just beautiful. Here's this one cut open. Oh, more of a colorless in the middle there. Nice. Is this stuff coming out? So Eric says there's the seam coming out from over there. We'll go check that out here in a minute. That looks really cool. Yeah, we'll go check that out. Just pulled this one out. Look at that one. That beautiful red and yellow in it. Very nice. Here's this one all nicely washed off. Nice. Just picked this up. It's like a vein, but it's very different. Look at all that. That's really cool. Here's these strange banded agate pieces washed off. Very neat. So Eric found this kind of vein or something of stuff coming out where it's kind of got the red agate all through it. You can see it just kind of scattered all through it. So we're thinking it might be just a whole kind of a, a sheet of barite that got partially replaced. So you got just bits of it here and there, some better than others. So it's a matter of just kind of going through it, looking for the better looking pieces. Here's some very yellow jasper. <laughs> just a little, little different than the other stuff. Cool. Here's kind of an interesting piece of wood. It's got an interesting shape to it. Cool. Huh. Another interesting looking piece of jasper. It's a little different than the other stuff we've been finding around here. And of course, like usual, you got petrified wood pieces all over. It's just a matter of finding ones that are good enough to keep. Okay, we made it back up into the wood area. This is where he found that awesome rutilated quartz last time. Here's some nice buttradle in a pocket on this piece of wood. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, that could be buried. I think it is. Thin little blades of white berry. And a lot of it gets this really nice texture and color to it. Yeah, so it does have a green outside there. Yeah, a green and red. Look, it says green there and red there. Really cool. It's really good textures. Here's one that has a nice red rind to it. Just on the edge. Cool. Here's a nice little piece of wood. Looks like it's got some white opal right there. So we're now up in the area where we're finding the better pieces. As you can see right there, already looking better. Because you get better textures on the outside. You get more reds in them, sometimes greens. Yeah, these are already looking a lot better than the wood you find in other places. Nice big chunk there. Yep, some of these pockets. Really nice box riddle. Some pieces have this really nice pink center to them. It's kind of a mixture of red and white getting a pink appearance. <laughs> That's cool. This is a cool piece. Look at the rind on that one. <laughs> cool. Here's a really neat big one. It's got a bunch of barite along this side here. That. Some botryoidal. And on this side, some interesting texture. A neat piece. The edge of this one is really nice. I think I'll take that one home just because of that edge. See how it looks on this side. Huh. Might be fun to uh, try and polish that up just to see. <laughs> Here's this piece of wood all washed off. Originally I wasn't going to show them these washed off, but I thought I'd do at least one where you can really see how a lot of them out there look like this. This is really common. Kind of got this wider edge, the brown black interior. But this one had nice patterns in it where you can see where the 
rings of growth were. Here's some more really cool looking pieces of wood. <laughs> nice. That one has a beautiful organic shape to it. Really cool. <laughs> and that down there is just an entire log sticking out of the ground. Eric found this nice one coming out. There's a log coming out of there. Really good texture on it. Really good definition, really. Still in good shape. That's another nice big log right down there. It's actually really big. <laughs> And of course that big one's sticking up there. And then you got a bunch of pieces coming out from up here. There's a log that broke out there. That stuff is just everywhere. Here's some different pieces. Kind of have this reddish outside and the interior. Hard to tell, but I think it's gonna be a little different than what I'm seeing. So we'll get those home and washed off. Made it down to the log that was sticking up. It's tiny. Look at it. <laughs> Walk around it. <laughs> and look at all the other pieces everywhere. Just so much of it. So much. And as you continue, it's just more wood and more wood and more wood and more wood. <laughs> this one look kind of neat. I might take it back. I don't know. I just found this piece. Look at that. It's really cool. It's like the core of the branch. It just looks really cool. Here's this piece of wood all nicely washed off. It looks so cool from this, this perspective right here. <laughs> so cool. These are some nice pieces down here. This one's kind of cool up here, too. Ooh, I think that one has some of the rings like mine, the other one has that I found. Yeah, right there in the center again. Really cool. Here's this piece of wood all nicely washed off. That one looks really nice. I'll take that one back with me. Very nice. Look at that piece of wood. Look at that. That's one of the best pieces I've seen color-wise. Here's this piece of petrified wood all washed off. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Here's some other interesting looking red agates. They look to be a fair bit thicker, but maybe not as pretty as the other ones we were seeing earlier. Definitely lost the yellow again. So I cut open this piece of red agate. And look at that right there. That's really nice. Let's see if there's any other good pieces in there. Got a little bit on that. A little bit on that. Here's this agate all washed off. So many patterns in there. That is beautiful. Oh man, we're getting into some good pieces of agate. Look at that. That is stunning. Wow. They're even better over here. Here's this agate all nice and washed off. Wow. What a piece. So much going on in there. So many layers. Definitely going to have to try and polish up sections of it or something. So we're back at the vehicle. Eric's showing off some of the cool stuff he found. And you gotta see this, this is neat stuff. Look at that. It's kind of like pastel, kind of like an agate opal mix. It really looks like white opal in it. But yeah, look at that. And let's take a look at the really nice piece right here. I'll let you hold it. <laughs> sure. Look at that. That's some stunning stuff. It goes all through that rock, so he's gonna take it back and cut and see what else is in there. But yeah, by far, that's the most stunning part. So Eric, let me keep this piece of the ones he found. Look at how nice that came up. You can only imagine how much nicer those bigger ones were that you got to see, but 
would have been nice to show them nice and close up washed off. Here's this strange nodule cut open. Oh, interesting. It's kind of like a jasper. Ugly jasper, but it's a jasper. Here's this septarian cut open. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see like this. When you polish these though, you can see them a lot better. Okay, there's a tiny septarian cut open and yeah, it broke a bit. <laughs> you can't see much. Oh well. Here's this agate nicely washed off. That is beautiful, isn't it? It's a very nice one. And that's it for today. We had a great time. Found so many cool things. Found a variety of new things we hadn't seen out here before or just higher quality stuff. Wow, this, is, this claim just never ceases to amaze. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.